In this video, I'm going to show you highly profitable cryptocurrency day trading and scalping strategy that anyone can follow. But first, for everyone who's new, I'm Boy B, the founder of GetCryptoIncome.com. I help people who are interested in trading and investing in cryptocurrencies to learn how to do that properly and make money consistently. Trading is hard, guys. I'm gonna be honest with you, trading is very hard. It's a zero-sum game. If you want to make money, there is someone else who has to lose the money on the other side right that's where your profits are coming from so if you want to win this game you gotta be better than everyone else now once we get that out of the way let me show you what you need for these strategies you need three things two exponential moving averages and the MACD indicator first of all you need 144 ema then you need 610 ema and the MACD. Now, you might be wondering what are these numbers? Don't worry, these numbers are not random. First of all, these are Fibonacci numbers, they are not random numbers. And second, this 144 represents the 15 uh, minute 55 exponential moving average. This one right here, the 55 EMA on the 15 minute time frame, right? The 610 EMA on the 5 minute time frame represents the 55 EMA on the 1 hour time frame right now if you are wondering why the 55 55 is used by many traders to identify the trend on the time frame that they are trading so if someone wants to trade on the one hour time frame they will look at the 55 and if the 55 is up sloping let me show you what i mean if the 55 is going up it means that on this specific time frame we have an uptrend right and if the 55 is going down like in this case right here like this it means that on this time frame we have a downtrend right so again 144 on the five minutes time frame is equivalent to the 55 on 15 minutes time frame and the 610 is equivalent to the 55 on one hour time the third indicator you need is mac and D. this is um, a momentum indicator so that's all you need and now i'm going to show you how you add it to your chart so you have to click right here indicators and strategies and then type ema and add it twice because we need two exponential moving average then type MACMD and add the MACMD indicator now the MACMD indicator is already good to go we just need to adjust the two exponential moving averages first click right here in the settings on the first one make it green and make it thicker right here then go to inputs and put here 144 this is the first one that we need 144 hit ok and now you have it let's adjust the second one click settings on the second one you can change the length right here in inputs to 610 then go to style and make this one red and thicker so it's better to see it now we will start going into the rules first of all it's very important for you to understand what we will use the emas and the mac and d for the emas we use for directional bias what does that mean when the green is above the red so during this whole time we look for longs only this is important when the green is below the red we look for shorts only so let's make this one red and then when again here during this time when the green is above the red we again looks, look for longs only. We don't care where the price is in relation to this exponential moving average. That's why I hit the candles. We only care if the green is above the red or below. When it's above during this whole time, we look for longs only. When it's below, we look for shorts only. If you don't know how to short, you can check my YouTube channel. I have plenty of videos how to short crypto on Binance. So you can watch this in order to learn how to short. It's important. Now let's talk about the entries. We are going to enter longs on a bullish divergence. And we are going to enter shorts on a bearish divergence if you don't know what divergence is don't worry because that's what i'm going to show you right now so divergence is very simple when you see price making actually let's start that way when you see price making a low and then a lower low right here you see this low is lower than this one while the mac and d is making a low and then a higher low right here this is a divergence and for a divergence we look only at candle closes this is important for you to to know don't worry about the weeks forget about the weeks only candle closes so price is making a low then a lower low right here while the mac and this making a low then a higher low 
Now, there are some more specifics to that. You not only want the one of the two lines, the Mac and D on the signal line, you want both lines to, to, to be making divergence and the histogram as well, right? This is important, so pay attention right now. Let's start with the histogram. The histogram you want when we look at the bullish divergence, we want it to be red, then green, to go from red to green, then back to red, and the second red to be higher, right? While price is making lower low, histogram is making higher low. This is important. Red, green, red, second one higher, right? You want also two of the lines. First of all, the MACD line, which is the blue line, you want low and then higher low, and then you want also the signal line to be showing the same thing. You want confluence of reasons right here, three. You want the, the histogram, the signal line, the orange one and the blue one. Three of uh, these you want to show divergence. And this is a bullish divergence, right? Price is making low and then lower low. This is making low and then uh, higher low right here. So this is what bullish divergence is and this is what we're gonna look for in order to enter a trade. Now let's to enter a long trade, right? Now in order to enter short trade, we're gonna look at the opposite, which is bearish divergence. So every time when you get a high and then a higher high on price, while the MAC and D is making high, and then a lower high right here, this is a bearish divergence, right? And again, we look at the candle closes, this is important, right? So this right here is a beautiful and clear bearish divergence. Now, as you already know, we not only look for a bearish divergence on the MACD line, which is this blue line, we also want the signal line. Do we have this here, yes or no? Is there divergence, bearish divergence on the signal line, the orange one? Yes or no, guys? Yes, right, there is. Is there a bearish divergence on the histogram? Look at the histogram right now and tell me if there is bearish divergence. Yes, there is, right? So on the histogram, we want from green to red to green and the second green to be lower while price is making higher high. The histogram is making lower high, right? So these are the things, this is a clear bearish divergence and that's what we look for in order to enter a trade. And now if we summarize everything, the EMAs we use for directional bias. So when green is above the red, we look for longs only. When green is below the red, we look for shorts only. So if we uh, check on our ex couple of examples that we have right here. So first of all here, the green is above the red. So in this case, we look for bullish divergence in order to enter a long trade. Right, and this is the setup that we need in order for to enter a trade. Now here the green is below the red, so we look for short trades only, right? And for short trade, in order to enter short trade, you need bearish divergence. Now I'm going to show you where exactly to enter the trade, where exactly to place your stop loss and take profit target so first of all let's look at our example with the bullish divergence we have the green above the red right so this is our directional bias we look for longs only then we go on to the market to look for bullish divergence we have the bullish divergence right here right now where exactly do we enter you enter on the e on the mac and d cross right so let's actually see where is this cross so this cross is the cross happen on this candle right here and if you are not sure when you do the back testing if you are not sure where exactly the cross happen on which candle you can look at the numbers right here the blue and the orange one so this is the entry where now do you place your stop loss you place your stop loss below the swing low which is this this one right here so meaning that you're gonna place it below the, your entry candle in this case right and you can give it some room for a swing failure pattern, right? So just give it some room, don't just place it right below here because uh, professional traders know that you guys are doing that. So just don't do it, give it some room. And now after you do that, where your take profit is, your take profit, for take profit, you will target 1.5 reward to risk, meaning that you just gonna do like this, bam, right here is take profit 1.5 reward to risk. And this is a beautiful trade soon after your entry your take profit got hit right here so this is the how you enter a long trade now let's look at the short one it's the same thing just reverse in this case we want the 
blue line to cross below the orange one which happened right here on this candle so this is your entry in this case this is the st where the stop loss again give it some room and target 1.5 rewards to risk just like this bam 1.5 rewards to risk and if we check right here soon after your entry your take profit was going to be hit okay so there is just one last thing that i want to show you it's a feature on binance which will help you to trade with this strategy it's called O. it's type of orders and it's called oco orders right which stands for one cancels the other this will help you to trade with this strategy and to have take profit and stop losses in the same time so after you enter the trade you place this oco order and you are set to go you don't have to look at the charts anymore right so how do you do that how do you use this feature so first of all um you gotta enter the trade right and in order to enter the trade by the way guys something that is very important you must always use risk management right very strict risk management which means to risk between one and three percent of your account on a single trade right so you can use my spreadsheet this spreadsheet is available on my website if you want you can use your own but you must have risk management meaning that before i enter this trade i will calculate my position size right how do i do that I first check my account balance. So currently I'm trading on 50K account. So I always check my account balance before I enter the trade. So 50,108. Then I'm gonna put this in the spreadsheet under account balance 50,108, right? So this is the first thing in order to know what my risk is for this trade and then what my position size is going to be one more thing is the stop loss right so the stop loss percentage right here in this example is 0.74 percent uh, away so i'm gonna use again the spreadsheet and i'm gonna put here stop loss percent 0 0.74 0 0.74 and now I have my position size. Position size meaning that I'm gonna go now ahead and buy uh, for 67,714 dollars, right? I'm not gonna execute this trade because it's in the past, it's not a setup that is right now at the moment, but I just want to show you the whole process in order to trade with this strategy. In this case, we're gonna have to use margin because we, we need bigger position size than our account balance, so you actually need to use margin in this case. So we're gonna buy for 67,714, 67,714, right? You're gonna buy and that's how you enter the trade. After you enter the trade, the feature that I wanted to show you is this uh, right here, OCO, right? Which again, it helps you to place take profit and stop loss at the same time, right? And this is beautiful feature. So what you're gonna do after you enter the trade is you're gonna open this feature OCO and this is available on most of ex most exchanges even if you trade on other exchange different than Binance it's very likely going to be available there so now how do you do that first of all you have two different prices that, that you have to put here uh, price and uh, stop right for price you're gonna put where it says price you're gonna put your take profit which in this case in this case the take profit is 54614 54614 right the stop price is your stop loss right so in this case you're gonna check the price right here which is 53608 here you're gonna put 53608 and here limit you have to put lower than this price right so you will put here let me see what is this 53 we can put here 50 thousand dollars and then you're gonna put the amount of bitcoin that you purchase you can check this from from the spreadsheet as well so in this case our position size is 1.1483 so that's how much we purchase 83 and then you will click sell right and once you place this order which i'm not gonna place right now because we don't have this trade but once you place this order you will basically uh, be ready to go with this trade so you don't have to do anything you don't have to look at the charts you can just go and do whatever you want to do right and one of the two things will happen either your take profit will be hit or your stop loss whatever happens the other order will be cancelled by the way this is for long positions for short positions it's the opposite for short positions you're gonna enter your short which again you can use the sheet if you want to or your own sheet uh, but you need to use risk management right this is a must once you enter the trade with risk management you will place 
a buy OCO, right? So when you enter shorts, the OCO order will be buy order right here. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, you can like it and you can subscribe to my channel. If you didn't, I love you anyways. I have free web class available on my website, so you can go and check that out. I'm gonna leave the link in the description of this video and in the pinned comment.